dear sixth graders, hello girls. Um, today we're going to explain the rule of simple present passive. You already took a worksheet about the present simple and you identified the tense of the present simple with teacher Farah Abu Sharar. Now we are going to move to a new rule that is related to the present simple, which is the present simple passive. I want you to listen carefully and try to understand what we are going to talk about today. Our grammar is present passive, present passive. We use the passive if we are interested more in what happened, not who did it. And if we don't know who did something. So we use it when the focus is on the action. It is not important who or what is performing the action. Like, my bike is stolen. In the example above, the focus is on the fact that my bike is stolen. I do not know, however, who did it. We're going to move to the rule itself. How to form the passive voice. How to form the passive voice. In particular, for the present simple tense. First, you put or you use the object of the original word, which is now the subject of the new sentence. Then, be, which is am, is, or are. Then, verb three of the main verb of the original sentence, or the past participle of the main verb in the original sentence. So the past participle of the main verb always stays the same, only the form of to be change. So again, I'm going to explain the rule. To change a sentence from active into passive, we use the object of the active as a subject of a passive sentence. The subject of the active voice sentence is placed after the past participle, which is followed by the preposition by. We use it when it's important to know who does the action. Now, look at this example. Now you have at the top the active sentence, the original sentence. He opens the door. He is the subject. Opens is the verb. The door is the object. Now, how we can transform this sentence from active to passive. The first thing you should do is to put the object at the beginning of the passive sentence. The door. The door. And you have to focus and identify if the new subject is singular or plural or I. If it is singular, you have to use the verb to be is and followed by the past participle or verb three of the main verb opens, which is opened. By him is the agent we use by and that old subject or the subject of the original sentence at the end of the passive sentence. Here, it's not important to say by him because we don't know him. So if you do it like this, the door is opened, it's enough and a complete sentence and a good sentence. Now, we're going to compare the passive voice in the affirmative form, the negative form, and the question form. In the affirmative form, you put the, 
You put the object at the beginning, then the verb to be am, is, or are, plus verb three, the past participle of the main verb. In the negative form, you put the object and the verb to be in the negative form, am, not, because there is no contraction of am and not, isn't, or is not, aren't, or are not, plus verb three, or the past participle of the main verb. Now, let's move to the question form of the passive. You put the verb to be am, is, or are at the beginning of the question because it's now a yes or no question, followed by the object and then verb three or the past participle of the main verb. Now look at the chart below and compare. Active. The teachers help the new student in the passive. The new student is helped by the teacher. Active. The teachers help the new students. In the passive, the new students are, because the new students' horn is plural. So you use are helped by the teachers.